Welcome to FaceSweep, the world's first revolutionary facial security screening solution that automates existing manual security screening by using machine learning and high-speed biometric analysis of the face in real time. Today we will demonstrate what the FaceSweep system does and provide you with four stages. But first, Steve will explain the purpose of a real-time example of using FaceSweep to detect deception tendencies. What we're going to do is we're going to put FaceSweep to the test. So I've got my authentic passport here, but I've also got uh, some aerosol, which is uh, lighter fluid, that I'm going to have with me when I do the test. Now, of course, FaceSweep doesn't know whether or not I'm telling the truth or not and we're going to look at the facial expressions, but I will lie to having possession of the lighter fluid, but I'm going to tell the truth to having my original and authentic passport. We will now demonstrate the calibration process. FaceSweep uses a standard HD webcam and requires no special hardware. Neutral face, center screen, tilt down, hold for five seconds. The system first asks you to stare in a neutral position and tilt your head in different angles. Calibration is easy and fast. Neutral face, center screen, tilt to bottom left, hold for 5 seconds. Neutral face, center screen, tilt to left center, hold for 5 seconds. Neutral face, center screen, tilt to top left, hold for 5 seconds. Neutral face, center screen, tilt to top center, hold for 5 seconds. Neutral face, center screen, tilt to top right, hold for 5 seconds. Neutral face, center screen, tilt to center right, hold for 5 seconds. Neutral face, center screen, tilt to bottom right, hold for 5 seconds. Neutral face, now move your head around, and rotate left to right. The test subject will move their head slightly to tilt to the requested area. Calibration complete. Please restart for testing. The examiner can monitor the feedback given by the system in real time. Calibration teaches the system what to expect for a compliant test. Real-time facial mapping can be turned on for the examiner or the subject to visualize the standardized facial data detected. Now that the calibration process is complete, we will show you what the system looks for in real time. FaceSweep uses proprietary technology and algorithms to identify and analyze up to 1,500 facial data points per second in real time and records a facial profile of every tiny micro expression unique to that person without any bias. As the subject answers predefined questions on the monitor or kiosk in front of them, FaceSweep generates a machine learning profile and model of a person's pre recorded truthful and deceptive facial responses. Other than unique facial configurations, which can change in a fraction of a second, FaceSweep also analyzes the effect of up to 43 facial muscles. The mouth, eyebrows, face, head movement, facial tilt, eye movement, blink rate, eye gaze and direction, prolonged eye closure, and blocking and many other areas. The problems with human screening is that it is reliant upon meticulous observations and effective questioning skills misreading facial and body language cues, conscious and unconscious bias, personal prejudices, facial profiling and time constraints when screening large numbers. Did you notice every single one of the 244 subtle and unique facial configurations that FaceSweep would have detected up until this point? We will now perform a live demonstration of FaceSweep in action. Algorithms compare pre-recorded facial micro-expressions looking for correlation, inconsistency and blocking behaviors. Demo mode active. As we begin to start the face sweep engine, you can see a real-time circumscribed square to the left which is consistently sweeping the subject's face while it records a constant data stream. We will be manually observing the face which will pick up six unique events that occur during the screening process. In order to clearly and succinctly identify and recognize patterns for facial screening, FaceSweep prioritizes, sorts and groups the micro-expression patterns that deviate the most from the person's normative baseline. The algorithm turns potentially hundreds or thousands of detected micro-events into a small group of events that hold relevance to pre-recorded behaviors. 
Historically, intelligence and government agencies including Customs, Border Protection, Department of Defense, the aviation security industry and others have relied on profiling, interviewing and polygraph screening. The session went for exactly 48,156 milliseconds. During that time, there were 974 valid biometric patterns that differed from the neutral calibration points. Of those 974 patterns detected, the six we described were flagged by the algorithm. There were nine blinks. The average eye open ratio was 78.2% throughout the screening. On average, the head was tilted to the right at 2.6 degrees. The face was centered just over half the time, otherwise to the right. The face was tilted down about 1.5% of the time. The eye position stayed close to center for 99.9% .9 of the time. The first facial event that face sweep will identify and drill down on occurs at the 10.04 second mark. This event picks up on an adjustment of the right eyebrow as well as a slight purse of the lips. The second facial event occurs at the 21.01 second mark. This event picks up on a lifting of the whole brow, a squint of the right eye and a gaze that is looking up to the right. The third facial event occurs at the 21.03 second mark. This event occurs a 50th of a second later and observes a relaxation of the brow, a return of the gaze to straight ahead and a slight tightening of the lips. The fourth facial event that face sweep will identify and drill down on occurs at the 34.05 second mark. This event picks up a slight head tilt down to the right and a frown followed by a sharp raising of the right eyebrow occurring in less than half a second. The fifth facial event the face sweep will identify and drill down on occurs approximately one second later at the 35 second mark. This event picks up a face tilt to the center right, a slight gaze to the right and movement of the mouth to an almost open position. The final facial event that face sweep will identify and drill down on occurs one twelfth of a second later at the 35.08 second mark. This event picks up the face still tilted slightly right, however the gaze has now straightened and mouth tightening up to the left briefly then relaxed. We will now have the subject sit through a real test which has been designed for the purpose of airport passenger screening. The system will first require the subject to answer three directed truth controls, six directed lie controls and will go through the two substantive screening questions. We shall now begin the official test and watch Face Sweep in action. Welcome to Face Sweep. You will notice that there are two buttons. One is yes and the other is no. Are you ready to continue? Press the left mouse button for yes and right mouse button for no. Please keep your head facing directly at the screen during the next few phases without moving your head. Remember to keep your head straight. Continue. Please answer the following questions truthfully. Do you understand that you have to be truthful to the following questions? Is there a roof above me? During this time, the algorithm is comparing thousands of facial configurations and other metrics of this screening to those recorded during calibration. Am I currently inside a building at the moment? Is there a floor below me? Thank you. Please lie to the following questions. Remember you are required to lie to the following questions by pressing either the yes or no button. Do you understand that you have to lie to the following questions? Have you ever lied to a family member? As you can see, the subject is intentionally lying to this question. Have you ever told a lie to a friend or partner? As you can see, the system is analyzing the subject's immediate responses to the control questions. Have you ever broken a rule or a law? The subject has blinked four times, is currently looking to the center and has his head tilted to the right. Have you ever lied to a supervisor or boss? Did you ever tell a lie to protect yourself?
Thank you. For the final part you are required to answer the following questions truthfully. Remember to answer all the following questions truthfully. Do you understand that you have to be truthful to all of the following questions? Is your passport authentic? The first, is your passport authentic? For which the subject indicated he would be truthful. Do you have any flammable liquids or materials in your possession? And the second, do you have any flammable liquids or materials in your possession? For which the subject indicated he would lie. The subject has now answered the two key questions and for the demonstration purposes, the results, results. will appear on the screen. The results have been displayed for demonstration purposes and indicates the following. Insofar as the question, is your passport authentic? The system has detected that your facial responses were 79% more consistent with the truthful facial captures. Insofar as the question, do you have any flammable liquids or materials in your possession? The system has detected that your facial responses were 76% more consistent with the deceptive facial captures. Thank you for taking the time to explore FaceWeep. Please feel free to visit the website at www.faceweep.com or to get in contact with either Steve Van Apron or Simon Smith for more information.